The 25th Amendment has never been used before to remove a president from office. It has been used to temporarily hand over power when a president is under anesthesia or some sort of temporary incapacitation. The amendment to the Constitution, in part, declares that a president can be removed if the vice president and then a majority of the cabinet determines that he or she is, quote, unable to discharge the powers and duties of the office. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Boston for us tonight. And Christina, all of the members of our local delegation believe that the president should be removed. And David, legally, it would take, of course, the support of the president's own cabinet. It would take the support of Congress. And with just a couple of weeks before the transfer of power, it would have to happen fast. Because you'll never take back our country with weakness. The violent chaos that followed those words from President Trump now has every member of the Massachusetts congressional delegation calling for his immediate removal. Congressman Seth Moulton. You know what? If the Republicans can jam through a Supreme Court nominee in historic time, we can do our job with impeachment. The other option, invoking the 25th Amendment, something the president's own cabinet members have reportedly discussed. Congressman Bill Keating says it's warranted. Uh, with 13 days left, there's still uh, opportunities galore for legal challenges. And we know how the president will uh, use legal challenges to his advantage. Why would this even be necessary? He's spiraling, and as he is getting increasingly boxed in, he's increasingly lashing out. Congressman Jake Auchincloss has concerns about foreign policy and the transfer of power. But MIT down. constitutional historian can, Charles Stewart you know, says majority. the easiest course of action may be to simply ignore the president's directives. Vice President Pence was apparently involved in the negotiations and arrangements for um, the National Guard. Um, and, and the rest. So official Washington in some ways, from what I can tell, is beginning to just ignore President Trump. Almost the same effect as removing him from office. Do the right thing. Well, the list is growing. There are similar demands coming from Democrats across the country, but political experts say it can happen unless Republican leaders also get behind this idea. In Boston, Christina Hager, WBZ News. Christina,